My dear brothers and sisters, when you listen to the word of God, your hearts will be burning within you. That is the power of the word of God. When you studied in the school, maybe your intellect may be burning inside, but your heart will never be touched. Because the studies and the documents and maybe the degrees that you have in the school and college and universities, it goes to your intellect. It doesn't go to the heart. But the word of God goes straight to the heart. It brings conversion and repentance. That is why those children who have studied in the school and college and university for many years, but when they listen to one word of God, maybe one talk, their eyes will be filled with tears and tears rolling down from the eyes because it goes to their heart. It brings conversion and repentance. But all what you study in the schools and colleges and universities will not convert you, will not transform you. Maybe it may make you intelligent, but at the same time, intelligent doesn't mean a good human being. Intelligence doesn't mean a good human being. In order to be a good human being, intelligence not enough. We need God. We need our heart to be touched. A heart to be burning with zeal and love for others. For that we need to listen to the word of God. We have enough and more intelligent people in this world today. Because everyone is well educated. The world is becoming worse and worse and worse. Nothing getting better. Because we have less people with the burning inside of their heart. We have less people who are changed in their heart. We have hardly some people who are burning inside with the word of God. No wonder the world is struggling today. When you hear the word of God, it will transform you, my dear brothers and sisters. It changes you. It touches your heart. And that is what we were reading. If you live in the word of God, you will truly become the disciples of Jesus. We read John chapter 8 verse 31. Gospel of John chapter 8 verse 31 we read like this when you we read like this then Jesus said to the Jews then Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him who had believed in him if you continue in my word if you continue in my word you are truly my disciples you are truly my disciples you know these Jews people Jewish people who just started to believe in Jesus they just started believing in Jesus then Jesus said if you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you continue in my word, many people, they just hear the word of God here and there, then they don't continue in the word of God. They don't continue reading Bible. They don't continue reflecting about the word of God. They don't continue thinking about word of God. They just ignore the word of God. They just hear once and then no connection. The Lord says, it's true that you start believing in me. I appreciate that you believe in me. But if you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples. Some people, they say they are disciples and they don't continue in, in the word of God. But Jesus says, if you continue in my word, reading every day, reflecting every day, and sharing with others every day the word of God then you will truly my disciples praise the Lord praise the Lord thank you Jesus thank you Jesus